Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, as you take a look at the big picture out there, we are eventually going to get back to a little bit of rain. So far, it's been pretty nice out there. We did have a couple clouds, but those clouds are kind of breaking up at this hour. I think the key here and noticeable difference moving forward that we're going to start to slowly watch our humidity levels rise, and it's really going to start to feel a little bit more sticky and more spring like by the time we move into the weekend. For us, I think we are going to hold off those showers until the weekend because the majority of the rainfall should be just north of our viewing area. At this hour, we now sit at 69. We've got a couple clouds out there, a little bit breezy with winds out of the east southeast at 15. Low southerly winds. Well, as you see here, it's driving all that warmth northbound. 60s in the Great Lakes region, very warm for early March, 70 in St. Louis, 74 in San Antonio, and right now we've dropped to about 69 outside. As you see for us, we did hit 75 and that put us four degrees above average today, so a very mild pattern. And that number is only expected to climb in the coming days as we're going to be seeing 80s by the end of the week. We did start out at 44, so that was closer to average. Moving forward, however, we're only dropping into the 50s tonight, so don't expect those temperatures to dip too much further this evening. Right now we sit in the 60s and 70s. So next 12 hours, we'll drop those temperatures down into the mid to upper 50s. Look for a few passing clouds out there, but nice and dry. We're going to continue to keep those winds out of the south. A few more clouds, dry pattern until late on Friday. That's when we get back to a few spotty showers. Keep an eye on Sunday as we do have the potential for maybe a strong thunderstorm or two, maybe even some severe weather, something that's worth watching in the coming days, and then temperatures jump. We're talking 80s by Thursday. So here's the story. Overnight, a couple passing clouds, but a pretty decent evening out there with those temperatures dropping into the 50s by early morning, and then temperatures quickly jump. We're talking near 80 by tomorrow afternoon. So as you look at your satellite and radar picture, we've got a couple clouds kind of creeping in from the west. The key here is that we're staying dry across the board. Not much going on. As you see on our exclusive live Viper radar, that we're not going to have to worry about rainfall, at least for the short term at this point. But moving into the weekend, the pattern does become a little bit more unsettled, and that's going to be the concern moving forward as we're going to have to dodge those showers. Watch your future track, and you'll see here that we do start out with those temperatures tomorrow morning in the upper 50s. Some additional clouds out there will stay mainly dry. Temperatures jump into the upper 70s. Could feel more like lower 80s out there once you factor in that low level moisture and then as we move forward going in the Thursday we start in the 60s and then eventually jump into the lower 80s by the afternoon with a good mixture of sun and clouds really throughout the entire day but dry until very late on Friday. Tonight we're talking 57 degrees outside a couple clouds out there, but should be a pretty decent evening out there with winds out of the east southeast at seven miles per hour and watch your seven day forecast. We go from 57. We'll jump to 78 tomorrow afternoon. We're talking 61 climbing to 81 on Thursday. Still very warm. More clouds Friday chance for an occasional shower spotty rain on Saturday. Still in the 80s out there come Sunday. That front arrives. Temperatures will dip a little bit on the backside. We'll look for the possibility of a couple of stronger thunderstorms in the mix, even the chance for some lingering showers early on Monday, but it does look like we get to a cooler pattern by the time we get to about Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And just remember, it is daylight saving time, so just remember to adjust those clocks before heading to bed. We spring forward and lose an hour of sleep.